A town hall meeting was held in Brookhaven to update the community in the investigation to find Jonathan Estes. WJTV 12 Justin Devon has details on what authorities plan to do next. One year. That's how long Jonathan Estes has been missing and still his sister continues to keep searching. I will never give up on my brother. He would never give up on me. I will never stop until I find my brother, no matter how long it takes. His sister in the sheriff's office felt it was time to meet with the community about the case to help restore people's faith in the office and clear up any misunderstandings. And it's been a struggle, you know, because until October, which was, what, four, four and a half months later, nobody even bothered looking for him as a missing person. So it's been a struggle, and I feel like a lot of time and evidence was lost in that. Sheriff Rushing answered each question he could without risking the case. He even let the public know where they are in the search. We've been trying to go back through social media, and that's been a chore dealing with social media, just getting information from them. Uh, anywhere from Google to Facebook to anything we can to find other aspects that may show us something different. But what was most shocking? Learning that they believe Jonathan might know that he's being tracked by deputies. We have information he put it out there. We, we talked to the person that picked him up from here. Um, without going into details on it, he was aware that we were looking for the truck at the time. This is the new missing flyer for Jonathan that will have his case number and personal information on it. And if you have any information as to his whereabouts or know anything, contact one of the two numbers down at the bottom. Reporting in Brookhaven, Justin Devon, WJTB 12 News.